the possibility, tinan nyo yung possibility ha, the possibility to be cut off from the vine. Ito po yung sinasabi ni Pablo sa mga taga-Roma. In verse 11, chapter 11, verse 20 in the book of Romans, they were broken, pruned off, tinutukoy po ni Pablo yung pong mga hudyo na hindi sumampalataya kay Kristo. Bagamat sila yung mga pinangakuan, pero sila po'y pruned off, they were broken, napawalay, tinanggal, dun sa vine. Ano ang dahilan? Because of their unbelief. Ano po ibig sabihin? Their lack of real faith. They have no faith in Christ. Sila po yung tinutukoy po ng Mateo na they call God Lord, Lord, and yet they rejected the real Lord in front of them. Hindi nila matanggap. So sila po, dahil po sa kanilang hindi paniniwala, they are sila po yung natanggal. Hindi po sila napasama doon sa tunay na puno ng ubas na nagbibigay ng buhay. They were pruned off. And you are established, kayo naman ngayon, na mga hintil, tayo, because of your faith, true faith, because you do believe, tayo ngayon ay naiugpong. Dahil tayo po'y naiugnay ngayon kay Kristo. Dahil saan? Kanino? Sa anong paraan? Because of our faith. Nagkaroon tayo ng paniniwala nung tayo po'y nakarinig ng salita ng Diyos. Amen? Now, so do not become proud and conceited, but rather stand in awe and be reverently afraid. Yung afraid yan is reverent, with worship. With honor. You honor Him. You acknowledge Him. That's the meaning. So to speak. Huwag kayong magmalaki. Bagkos, ano sabi? Stand in awe and be reverently afraid. Worship Him. Kaya yun po yung ginagawa natin. How to have a reverently afraid and stand in awe, we acknowledge every day. Yan po yung ginagawa natin, Lord, thank you. You acknowledge God in everything you do in your life. Oh, I tell you, I praise. That's the reason I praise God. That's the reason I worship Him. Amen. And the very reason why I read more the Bible, not to be saved now, but to Learn more of Him. To know more of what He did. Because the more I know Him, the more I am go deep in understanding of what He did for me, the more that I can praise Him and testify to all people that really my God is a good, good God. Oh, glory. Sarap maging Kristiyano. Ang sabi sa verse 21, If God did not spare the natural branches. Sino yung natural branches na sinasabi? The Israelites. The Jews. Kung hindi sila pinanghinayangan. Because of unbelief. Anong dahilan? Bakit hindi po sila nais napasama sa church? Because of unbelief. Because they don't believe in Christ. Narinig nila yung patutuo, dumating si Kristo, but they reject Him. Because of their unbelief, natanggal sila. Pero tayo, no? Kung hindi sila pinanghinayangan, neither will He spare you if you are guilty of the same offense. Ano yung the same offense na yun? Unbelief. So the only reason for a person to be cut off is unbelief. Meaning, if you reject Christ as your Savior. If you reject Him as the source of your life. If you reject Jesus Christ as the only way for your salvation. Verse 22, then note and appreciate the gracious kindness and the severity of God. Severity toward those who have fallen, but God's gracious kindness to you. Oh, glory to God. Recognize the gracious kindness of the Lord in your life. 
sa mga fallen, sa mga nalaglag sa biyaya ng Diyos, there is a severity, okay, of God. But for us, it's the gracious kindness of the Lord. But sinabi rito, provided, provided, in other words, is, if, again, if, you continue in His grace and abide in His kindness. So, kailangan po dito ngayon ang pananatili sa biyaya at kabutihan ng Diyos. Manatili ka ngayon na kilalanin na Siya ang tagapagligtas mo. Manatili ka na ipahayag ngayon. Hindi ka nagpapahayag just to maintain, but because you believe that He is the only Savior. He is so gracious and He is so kind in your life. Glory to God. I love what I'm hearing here. Otherwise, eto matinde. Kung hindi ka mananatili, otherwise, you too will be cut off from the way. So there is a possibility, right? To be for you to be cut off.